the past several decades, we've witnessed an unprecedented proliferation in the availability of personal electronics. While this started with TVs and stereos, where you could just listen to material, it's transformed into phones and computers where we generate material. Effectively storing and accessing these large volumes of data has stressed the limitations of modern electronics and ushered in a new era where integrated photonic solutions are required. We're used to the phones, computers, and hundreds of other devices that we interact with running off electrons. But humans have been using light, or photons, to do work for us for centuries. And more recent inventions like the fiber optic cable have allowed us to transfer information over enormous distances. Integrated Photonics takes that a step farther, shrinking that fiber optic cable down to a tiny, barely visible line on a chip. And what that allows us to do is make things like computer chips and sensors that do work at the speed of light while using much less power than electrically driven devices. Integrated Photonics was previously focused on telecommunications. Today, it's proving instrumental in data centers. Tomorrow, it will enable a new generation of computers to be made, which can access data over long distances without significant performance penalties. This game-changing shift away from metal wires will enable a new generation of computer architectures that can address artificial intelligence and other applications with low power consumption. I work in the field of integrated photonic sensors. I think about that as we're creating the interface between the universe and data. The devices we're building are going to change people's lives and integrated photonics makes that all possible. Integrated photonic technology will be a path that can make our medical laboratory tests more efficient and effective, aiding in ortho's purpose to improve and save lives with diagnostics. Now getting there is gonna require investment. It's gonna require skilled labor in the technology, as well as the development of applications. The government industry partnership established with AIM Photonics is a great way to help us jumpstart the technology development process while also ensuring that we have the workforce training required to establish a strong U.S. manufacturing base. Photonics has both commercial and military uses. Prior to AIM, only large vertically integrated companies had the resources to connect their research and development to state-of-the-art manufacturing. Europe had developed national programs, but that left small businesses and DOD laboratories with only one option, ship their design overseas. The US was falling behind and the Department of Defense needed to find a way to reform their business. AIM Photonics sits squarely in what is often referred to as the Valley of Death. That's the time between research and development and scale up to full production. They provide the highest quality open manufacturing ecosystem for integrated photonics in the world. It's been rewarding to hear from corporate leaders how AIM Photonics has proven critical as they develop strategies for the future of their companies. Much of this has been based on AIM's multi-project wafer runs, which provide access to integrated photonics and enable them to design solutions and have AIM manufacture them. AIM Photonics has also been working to train the next generation of integrated photonic designer by developing course content to help educate designers in the US and grow the ecosystem in the future. The world is relying more and more on optical systems, particularly in the field of data communications and telecommunications. Advancements in social media, social awareness, life management applications create a demand on data communications. As we enter the world of artificial intelligence, computers are talking with computers demanding more bandwidth than ever before. Optics is no longer optional for worldwide need of moving data. To learn more about integrated photonics and how AIM is shaping the future, visit aimphotonics.com.